Hey, welcome back to Kid Diaries episode 5. <laughs> This episode is going to be slightly different from the other ones that we've had so far. I'm going to be doing a sketchbook tour. I'll be taking you along on a journey of sketchbooks over the last 6 years. I'll be sharing glimpses of each of those and how my art has changed, but in many ways it hasn't. I'd love for you to join me. You know what? I really love a good transition. Okay. Ready, set, okay. And that's all of the sketchbooks that I'm going to be taking you through today. Let's get started. I got this book in Kutch. I was about 16 years old. It was from this beautiful villa. They made these beautiful prints. I went with my school and it was the best memory that I got. I really enjoy doing pen drawings. I made this one at uni. And this was when I was studying in India. This was a bag of my best friend at the time and I think this was a bag of the other best friend of mine. This was a painting that I made when I first visited New Zealand. A year and a half later, I ended up going to university here as well. A really funny full circle moment. And I was freezing when I drew this. Oh, I have a little rose here. That's beautiful. Oh, I remember drawing this banana, posting it on Instagram back in 2016. Eventually deleted my Instagram after. Moving on to 2018. I love the first page and I feel like this is so bold of me because I I'm so much more fearful of how I use color now. So when I see this, I find myself really impressed that I was so fearless with using watercolor here and feel like it's a good reminder for me to go back to being this free on the first page, which is sometimes the most daunting one. Line drawings will always be my favorite. I think this one was done all at once. So I like picked up the pen and I kept going and didn't stop until I came to the switch. Yeah, there's something so beautiful and freeing about them. Yeah, I'm, I won't be surprised if there are a lot more in this. Quite impressed with this one too, actually. Art is so much more beautiful to appreciate once you. Once you've taken a bit of space from it, I think this was a stall vendor in India. He was selling fruits. I haven't seen any of these in so long. I, yeah, sometimes I miss India. Drawings like this make me miss India. Yeah, more of those. This was in Pune. I studied there for a while. So was this. I was trying to play with watercolor and pen. which is always a big risk <laughs> and the perfect kind of risk for a sketchbook this is one of my friend yeah this is the first time i had heard about urban sketches and i realized that i wanted to give it a go and me and two of my friends from uni who also really love drawing we walked around and i drew him here he's sitting on a scooter while also drawing Oh, here we go. 2018. Yeah, I do remember drawing this. Once again, the watercolor and the line drawing mixture. I've had short hair for a really long time, and I definitely am one of those artists who loves a self-portrait. There's always a rose. Somehow a rose always finds itself here. As well as some of these quotes from I think this was from a cookie. My favorite thing for my favorite person. Oh, that's cute. Sometimes I keep things in my sketchbook I don't even know why I keep them. Our bond is beyond compare. Oh, uh, you know what? Even years later, I am a sucker for these. They're so cute. What a cool experience to try to open two of these with someone you love. This is a little doggy. This is the point in my life where I was doing a lot of drawings while listening to one song on repeat sometimes, and this was a Moh Moh Ke Dhage, which is a beautiful song but the drawing with it is hilarious now that i look back oh uh, this is from a project at uni i think i was doing a 3d render of a watch and i had to design it uh, this is really beautiful like i said watercolor sometimes can really work and i feel like this could be one of those i wrote in just one summer afternoon i think these are three of my friends oh i guess No, I remember these three. They were they used to always sit outside of the cafeteria in this beautiful amphitheater we had at school. I mean, at uni, I mean. Oh. I was always so dramatic, and I have grown to really love that about myself. 
ah, I remember this. This was for a World of Cultures program or exhibition that we had. This is one of the drawings I'd done for that, which we eventually used for an invite. I remember drawing this at uni. You can see shortcuts to Photoshop here. I was doing a lot of sketching, a lot of line drawing still. Yeah, really getting into it. Oh, this was 2017. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I remember. Oh, this is Loni. This is the place that I was in, in Pune. Wild place, wild place. This was a drawing that I did for my mom's birthday. You know, I feel like my mother is one of my muses for life. Every artist has its muse and I feel like all of my lovers are my muse but my mum has been the most constant one of all. I guess this is, this is about expressionism. Oh and here's the card we ended up making from the expo. Ah, I remember drawing this. This too. I loved black and white drawings. There's so many of them still feel exactly like this on every gym day. For years after, I used to include a lot of texts in my and music, all lyrics from music. I think this one says leaving on a jet plane. That song was really popular in my class. I was practicing isometry at this point. Oh, and this was for a uni project again. I was doing a graphic design class and I remember doing a lot of explorations for logos here. One of my favorite ways to let my mind free is by doing these. They are so therapeutic. If you always wanted to give drawing a go, and if you were looking for recommendations, I'd recommend trying one of these styles because all you need is a pen, a paper, and you need, and just scribble. I can see text finding its way here as well. And I guess this brings me to the last one. And these are lyrics from a song as well, I think. Wow, it's quite poetic and also very teenager-esque of me to write all of these. Alright, moving on to the next one. This sketchbook is one of the few sketchbooks from my life that I have completed. And this is from 2018 as well. This was from my uni and I think it was for a class at uni. It has some work that really challenged me. This was my best friend at the time. We both were like this and we loved drawing together. We were like, like cute artist best friends. This was when we went on a ride to the city because our uni was a little far away from the city. This one reads, Pata nahi bone mein itne auto kyu nahi hai yaar? Mumbai ki yaad mein. Oh, that's cute. Also, I miss writing in Hindi and I miss reading Hindi. Bhaiya, jaldi chalao. Late ho raha hai. <laughs> that sounds like me. These designs on gates are so beautiful. This was at Mahatma Phule Market. This is a color pencil drawing, which is quite different from my usual pen and watercolor drawing. And I've explored pen and color pencil here as well. His name was Raju Kaka. And this was at Lakshmi Road, Sabji Mandi, Marketplace. Why am I translating it? <laughs> I like it though. Oh, this is my friend. And she always had really beautiful colored hair and I had to draw it. I remember seeing this guy sitting. At that time I thought, wow, what a cool drawing it would make. But now that I look back, I'm like, I hope he was okay, man. Yeah, a lot of study of expressionism, it seems. The joy of black and white drawings, I feel like even just years later, it hasn't left me and I'm really surprised at how much detail I used to put into all of this work. At the same time, I can't help but feel like so much sorrow in some of these drawings too. Oh, another flower. There's a flower in every book. I could easily say that laying on the lawn is my absolute favorite thing to do. Six years later, I agree. Oh, this is this is definitely one of the most beautiful spreads. It's simple, however, it's it's it says I feel like I'm running out of words, but I feel like it's so simple. 
but yet it conveys exactly what I felt. And a couple more line drawings. <laughs> I remember drawing this one. It's hilarious. Who says dogs don't pose? How our windows, balconies always our escape place. Moon signs, sun signs, water signs. I was doing a few color tests here, which is quite surprising. I don't end up doing these on my sketchbooks usually. I've written, I can't say that I'm thrilled to go back to college. A messy room, too much laundry, a load of homework awaits me. Wish me luck, God. <laughs> this is at Thane Station on 9th March 2018. I remember these tickets were so cheap. It's like 20 bucks. March 2018. So we're on a bus ride again. I swear I've spent at least 0.5 years of my life on a bus. It's probably true. I've decided I'll draw everything I see on the bus until I'm really bored. More black and white. The more I look back at my sketchbook, the more I realize that I was really drawn to black and white drawings. It says bad choices. I wonder what? This was made with ink, I believe. Could also be watercolor. Drawing this apple was really tough and I remember telling my friend, please just hold off while I draw it. This was actually a spill from coffee. I believe I spent five minutes on most of these and then worked on them a little later. Mm. And then more drawings from the Aga Khan Palace. Another one where I made my friend wait while I finished drawing her. I close my eyes and I can see the world that's waiting for me. Another flower. Dried flowers are beautiful. I remember these two mediums didn't work well together. I ended up making this really beautiful starry night texture. The joy of drawing on this paper. Another example of when watercolor works really well. But this time, instead of using ink pens, I've used ball pens. I stood for hours and no one saw me. I painted with all my heart and it was the best feeling ever. To exist so silently. Puri, Nimbu Pani and Aloo Ki Sabji. Classic combo. More drawings of food. More sketches of friends. I find it very tricky to draw feet and toes, so wow. I guess younger me did practice life drawing. This is from Gibbs Farm in New Zealand. I feel like I came back to the sketchbook a couple of years later. See, because I remember that installation. And ostrich and emu i'm not quite sure and these are the shoes of my best friend i'm feeling so excited about using negative space here in such an iconic way hey mari this is from a live drawing class that i'd gone to years later all right next sketchbook so happy to have this life this is also made with watercolor or with gouache. I remember really exploring with this one. I was exploring my style at this time, not just artistically, but even fashion-wise. And I'm like mixing poles and chains, as well as different hairstyles too, and a lot of hair color. And a lot of interesting line work here as well. Yes, you know, I'm actually really enjoying talking about this work because I can see such a theme of these black and white drawings and I am obsessed with this one. Wow! <laughs> this is adorable. I'd love to actually do more of these. It was so much of my subconscious and this style of drawing, it repeats itself so often. This was from the Auckland Art Gallery. Oh, that is beautiful. I can only imagine how much I was thinking about it and I feel like I wrote all of it down in this piece. I have no memory of drawing this however I'm pleasantly surprised. Oh, the first few times we had a Christmas tree. I wonder what's in here. Oh, just little eggs. Looks like some faces were about to come. Doodling in a sketchbook is one of my favorite things, especially when I'm bored. 
Oh, this is when my kids art circle classes had just begun and I remember feeling so excited about them. It went so well that they extended it and it's three years later and I'm still teaching. More exploration of home. Yeah, this is an ongoing one if I'm being honest. Watercolor nature really is able to show such delicacy. This color palette quite different from my usual color palette and I feel like especially this green, the neon green, step outside my comfort zone in the best ways. I could definitely come back to the sketchbook because there's so much opportunity here and it's a great first layer a lot of these pages. Mm, watercolor, color pencils yeah, and, and definitely exploring light and shadow here. I never went to art school so every time I see myself do light and shadow in an interesting way I have to remind myself to not be so technical about it and I feel like in this one I can see some sort of enjoyment in the way I've done it where it doesn't really make sense but at the same time art doesn't have to make sense. I feel ya girl, I feel ya. In drawings like this I'm reminded how important art is because when you're going through a challenging time, sometimes you're able to convey what you're feeling so much easier with art. Oh, this is interesting. This is this is the sky tower from the Western Park. Moving on to the next sketchbook. My first tiny art room, which was smaller than the one I'm in. Lion hair, I don't care. Oh, mitochondria. This doodling style, it's really a pattern. Pajama power. Oh, it looks like this is a roadmap of my day to the illustration class. Drawing this on my bus ride, I went to Wellington by bus, which is a 12 hour ride. This was my first solo trip. This was at a park that I was exploring. I was doing really touristy things here. Yeah, a lot of self exploration going on as well. Using color pencils, I can really see the shift in my color palette in these. Mm. <laughs> and this is when Inktober began. Yeah, whoa. This was the first Inktober I'd done. Little did she know, a year later, she would do 31 videos and a solo exhibition of all of her Inktober work. This definitely gave me the practice for that. I feel like Wellington really made me explore textures and patterns in a way that I hadn't explored before. <laughs> this is the Papa Museum. I spent two days here and my trip was I think less than a week which was like a lot of time to be spending at a museum and I loved every second of it. Same board and we are falling. <laughs> this is where I started to really find my joy in exploring comedy in my work through characters that hadn't even fully established themselves yet. Shelter when you're by yourself at the toilet. Oh, you know what? You know what's funny? Years later. I have this actually had this on my table years later. I was inspired by this drawing, which I'm pretty sure came from here. It says you can sit with me, and this actually sits in my desk now. One of my favorite drawings I've ever made. Moving on, I think these were more drawings, and this was with my friend. She was an exchange student, and we got really close. I remember drawing us, and in really funny angles in one of my illustration classes. Hmm. I feel like this sketchbook ended up having a theme of colors which I find really challenging to stick to a lot of the time so I'm I'm really surprised I was able to stick to it. I feel like this was towards the end of Inktober. I was definitely struggling to keep up but, but by the end it's a challenge and I think that's that was one of the last ones. 
are you ready for the next book <laughs> this is iconic too feeling the weight on your shoulders on yourself and using this blob to do it even this style and this use of having this blob came up a lot in my later drawings but i didn't even realize it at the time no i will not watercolor it because this is the last day of inktober and i'm tired don't you get it <laughs> i get it the next sketchbook another exploration of my black and white style of doodling however i feel like there's a bit of growth sketchbook is definitely more black and white drawings too i think i was playing x and o with someone and i made an entire portrait it's one of my favorite exercises you get someone to draw something and then you just flow with it definitely felt the pressure to maintain a certain quality of work and i was using copic markers sharpies pens and this drawing was one of my favorite ones and it is still to this day love that i added a bindi there so much of my art is self-expression <laughs> Dreaming of holidays <laughs> and doing a bit of life drawing. My room looked like this. We've moved houses since though and implementing Hindi in some of my work which was quite new. I found myself really wanting to add words like I did when I was younger but this time in Hindi. I remember once someone asked me, why do you always draw sad women? And I'm like, they're not sad, they're just not smiling. Oh yes, this is an exercise that I remember asking someone to draw a line and like scribbling it. And I ended up making it into a drawing another one of those games so you can see that these were the lines that were drawn and I went along with that and after so many drawings I was ready <laughs> to add color in hindsight she definitely looks like a queen mm. grid lines are also a really great exercise for me one of the beautiful things about our culture And women. I'm not sure what my drawings will look like many years from now but I feel like women will definitely be a part of them in a big way. This was a self-portrait of mine. I was, I was feeling it. <laughs> I was definitely feeling it. I was sharing a lot of these on TikTok too. Oh, this is when the floods had happened, which was devastating. I ended up going for volunteering the day after and drawing this once I was back home. Another one of women and cats enjoying what I see around me. Portraits. More cat drawings, more portraits. I feel like I'm definitely a loser with my drawing here. I'm just breaking the theme of the sketchbook and I'm here for it. Next one. We are almost at the end. This was less than a year ago. I started to do Bharatanatyam again. This is a really special drawing. I did this with my friend. We play this game where she would draw something and I would make my variation. We would have a couple of colors. Towards the end, it should be a drawing that both of us created together. This is a self-portrait of mine. I'm going to Vahiki, which is an island in New Zealand, and we were at a vineyard. And I, I took this picture and I came back home that night and did the self-portrait. 
was listening to a lot of Lord at this time and I love fishes for how much texture and colors that they have going on. This drawing when I was in Nelson visiting a friend of mine at the time. Lotuses remind me of school. We had this pond next to our library and they always had lotuses. It just makes me so happy every time I think of that pond and all the evenings I spent in that school next to it. This is quite recent as well. I remember posting about this on my YouTube and this drawing was one of the few moments where I was ready to start uploading videos on YouTube again. I remember writing the caption of the drawing saying she's ready. I remember thinking this was a drawing that would be remembered for when I was ready to start sharing my art with the world. And this was from my video of creating bad art. I feel like this one is such a great example of all of my art styles but all together in one spread which we have the line drawings we also have the markers the color pencils i guess watercolor is still left but moving on to a special surprise i have for you which is a tiny sketchbook this was for my trip to melbourne and sydney earlier this year it was my first solo international trip started off in melbourne at my friend's place reading this quote by elizabeth because i'm not okay you're not okay and that's okay which is such a great reminder that nobody is really sure about what's going on in life i'm starting to realize that that might not change unless my perspective on how i approach joy and life changes i might actually zoom in yeah, that's better. There is so much to eat. Yep. All the types of matcha I've eaten, it's been a lot. So matcha lattes three times, ice always. Piece of what I was feeling. Feeling alone, feeling lonely, feeling confused, feeling proud, feeling the ground beneath me shake like never before in my 20s. Definitely feel more con content since then, but the feeling of not knowing and feeling the ground shake beneath you still resonates with me. Good things and good people all find me. Some manifestations and affirmations out there. And eating breakfast by myself, celebrating aloneness. I think at this point I decided to read again and I went to the National Gallery of Victoria where a student was having an art class and I this was when I'd gone to Sydney at this point and really signed to enjoy and that loneliness was definitely less present. There was a DJ who was here and he was live streaming on Twitch while he was playing and I feel like I got a concert all for myself while I was drawing. And I went to this restaurant where the staff was so lovely and they came and they were like what are you doing and then they took pictures of the work and then they shared it on instagram and it was the sweetest thing ever and this was a lady at the airport and this was the last drawing that i did which was sydney to auckland in the end of a beginning And that brings us to the end of the sketchbook tour. Comment down below which one was your favorite drawing. Also comment the pencil emoji. And I will see you in the next episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya.